Module 4, Lesson 6. Objective is to relate fractions as division to fractions of a set. Here I have 21 counters. And we're going to look at this problem here, where we have 1 third of 21. It will help us to arrange the counters. And then so we'll move them around so that we're going to go ahead and arrange them. And in arranging them, we're going to go ahead and arrange them into thirds. So we'll go ahead and draw some lines here so that we can arrange these counters into thirds. And then so I have 6 within that first area right there. And now it looks like I have 6 within that area there. And I still have some more counters here. Looks like this third area here for this third thirds. I also have 6, but I still have 3 more counters. So it looks like I should have 7 within each of those areas and when each of those thirds. So one third of 21, this would be a third of it. So one third of 21 is equal to seven. What if we had two thirds of 21? How many counters what are we looking at to show two-thirds? Well, we would be looking at that first group of counters for sure, because that's one-third. And then we'd also be looking at the second group of counters as well. And within each of those groups is seven. And then so two groups of seven would be equal to 14. So 2 thirds of 21 does equal 14. 2 thirds of the 21 counters is 14 counters. We're looking at 14 of them there. Here I have another problem, 1 fifth of 20. Instead of looking at thirds, now we're looking at fifths. We also don't have any counters here, but we can divide, divide this into five parts. And then we can draw x's to represent our counters. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember, we're going up to twenty here. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So within each of those groups is 4. So 1 fifth of 20 is equal to 4. Now if we were looking at 2 fifths of 20, what would that be? Four there, another four, that would be eight. What would three fifths of twenty be then? Can you figure that out? And four fifths of twenty? Five fifths of twenty, or a whole of twenty, of course would be twenty. Did you say 12 for 3 fifths of 20? 4, 8, 12. That's 3 groups. 3 fifths. 4 fifths of 20 would be all of those there, which would be 16. Here we have a word problem. In a class of 28 students, three-sevenths are girls. How many girls are in the class? 
Now work with me. Answer these as I ask the question. How many students are in the whole class? Right, 28. And what's the question? How many girls are in the class? What fraction of the whole class of 28 students are girls? Right, we have the fraction there, 3 sevenths. So what's the expression that we're looking at to be able to solve? Hope you said 3 sevenths of 28. Let's work that out. So we have sevenths. And, and this time we're looking at 3 sevenths of 28. So let's work this out. We've got 3 sevenths. So that's sevenths. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 7 here. And then we're going 3 sevenths of 28. So each of these little sections here are sevenths. Now we just have to put in the 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. But we're going for 28, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So, within each of these sevenths, each seventh is worth four. One seventh of 28 would be four, or four girls. Now, they're saying that three sevenths are girls, so not, we have to look at one, two, and three sevenths. And I will circle them to indicate that we are looking at those ones in particular. So all of those, that's four, eight, and 12. We have three groups of four. That's three times the four, which does equal 12. We already knew that 1 seventh of 28 is 4, so 3 sevenths of 28 is equal to 12, and it's asking us how many girls are in the class. There are 12 girls in this class of 28. Here's a problem for you to try. Go ahead and make an array to be able to solve the problem. Remember, you're looking at fifths in this case then. Remember to write your expression. Pause that video while you solve. Were you looking at three-fifths of $40? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have to go all the way up to 40. There is 20. And we're at 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So one-fifth of $40, we have eight within that group there. We're looking at three of those groups because we're looking at three-fifths. So here's one-fifth is $8 already. Another fifth is another $8, and this third fifth is also $8. So we put them all together. That's 8 plus 8 plus 8, which is equal to $24. You also might have done $8 times 3, equaling $24. Three-fifths of $40 is $24. Mr. Wong has $24 to be able to spend on snacks. 
one of the big keys here is to be careful to make sure that you're looking at the correct amount. In this case, we're looking at three of those fifths. And then also making sure that there are equal amounts within each of those groups as we're working through a problem. The most common mistake when you're looking at three-fifths of $40 is to accidentally put $8. That'd only be an eighth. Three-fifths of $40 is $24.